If you hadn't chosen to be a priest, what would have been your dream job? Well, as I said, I before entering <coughs> seminary went back to do a, a second degree in medieval history. My plan then was, if not a priesthood, then teaching. Mm -hmm. And what would you have done? What was your dream job? Well, I, you know, many many people ask, you know, did you go into the priesthood because you had no other options? Well, trust me, I had plenty of other options. Um, I was looking at going into teaching as well. Mm. So um, one avenue I was looking at was uh, teaching English as a foreign language. So I was looking at going um, abroad to do that again. Um, another avenue I was also exploring was going down the academics route. So I was looking at uh, doing my master's here in, in Cardiff and going down that route in, in translation. Um, but I'm glad it's turned out the way it has. Yes. I briefly thought about higher education, but then realised I'm not smart enough, so decided for me. What do you do to relax? Uh, the normal things. Uh, love a docuseries, love the theatre, love a movie, and love going out with friends. The pub, one of my favourites. Absolutely, favorites. absolutely. Um, I says, what do I try to do to relax? Um, Again, I try to keep up with friends. I, you know, having friends is really important, and um, you know, so we, I try and make time to kind of catch up with people. Um, and um, as is a particular favourite of mine is um, just spending the day off with with my dear mother. I, I'm lucky enough that mother doesn't live too far away, so we'll go down to I'll go down to Barry, and we'll have a nice walk along the beach, and maybe a, maybe fish and chips on the way home. I spend a lot of my free time baking, but I'm not sure you it relax. I'm not sure it relaxes me. I sort of have a no, breakdown every time I do it. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we've we've seen you in the kitchen, covered in flour, <laughs> rocking back and forth and crying. Yes, every Monday. <laughs> Bless you. Where in the world would be the dream location for your parish? Well, I suppose I've answered this by choosing the Archdiocese Absolutely. of Cardiff. Uh, That's the correct <laughs> answer. <laughs> As a Catholic priest, uh, you belong to your bishop in a way and to his territory. Um, so uh, in choosing your diocese, you choose where you're likely to spend the rest of your life ministering. So home. Absolutely. You know, where in the world would be your dream location? Well, you know, we've we've chosen the archdiocese because it is our dream location, as it were. Um, and you know, I've had the great joy of, of greatly enjoying the experiences I've had in the various parishes across the Archdiocese. But still, if you were to set up a beach mission on Barry Island, I'd be there. Oh no, the valley, surely. Right, that's it.